This is Rome. I'm in the middle of the city here. In a long, long tunnel. I don't know what uh, is up above there. But I am walking in the general direction of the Colosseum. Just going to explore Rome today. It is a hot, hot day. It's a little bit cooler in this tunnel at least. But you probably can't hear me too good, so uh, once I get out of here, then uh, you'll get to see actual Rome itself. All right, here we go. One day in Rome. Okay, out of the tunnel. And now that I'm out here, and there are stairs going up there, I'm curious to see what this tunnel is going under. My best guess is going to be the train tracks coming from the uh, main Rome train station. But I could be wrong, so head up there and check it out. Nope. Totally not the train tracks. Just more of the city and a nice park. I think I'll wander in there and just take a look. And looks like that park is closed for some reason and like turning into a jungle. What the heck? All right, now time to continue my quest for the Colosseum. And so there are interesting looking monuments at both ends of this street here, down there, and then down there. That one is slightly uh, closer, so I'll head down there, figure out what it is, and in the process, hopefully figure out uh, where I am relative to the Colosseum. And so we have here some of the classic Roman ruins. I'm fairly close to the Colosseum now, but I will be going there later after checking these out. And so this area is called Trahan's Market, and it was built smack in the middle of the uh, Roman Empire in 100 AD. And so here we go, the Mercati di Traiano. And so it is basically considered to be the oldest shopping mall in the world. It still exists anyway. And so it looks like that bust there is the Emperor Constantine around the year 312 AD. So it cost 13 euros to uh, come inside here, the Trahan marketplace. And this area is kind of like a museum, but inside the ruins. And then you can also go outside and see more of them. So, Triano is Trahan, who was a Roman, I forget if he's an emperor or general or what, but anyways, this is dedicated to him. During the restoration and recovery, some archaeological researches were carried out which allowed to collect new data on the area. The set paving of a road was unearthed together with a travertine pavement siding this part of the Great Hall. Above the road, at an upper level, a corridor 
was identified and made after the 13th century, as well as vaulted structures relating to a flight of stairs that connected the 17th century St. Catherine's Monastery with the Great Hall. And so as you can see there, being described, the different uh, things that were constructed at different times, so there was the classical Roman Empire period, but then there has been much history since Rome fell, and so there are lots of different layers of various societies, civilizations that existed after the fall of the Roman Empire that still occupied this area and added to and uh, changed and certainly destroyed, etc., the uh, various remains here of ancient Rome. So check out this stone from the bottom niche of the porticos, etc., in the form of Augustus Augustan age, 2 BC, 2 years BC, so 2019 years ago. And check it out. The exact same letters. That's a trip. And continuing the tour here, I am now firmly in the tourist zone. But check that out. Incredible obelisk. And so this is the Colonna Triana. And Triana was the same guy as the shopping mall complex there, otherwise known as Trahan. So this is a victory pillar built in 113 AD to commemorate his victory in the Dacian Wars. And it might be a little bit hard to see, but the entire column is covered in relief carvings going all the way around it, all the way to the top. Absolutely incredible, really detailed. And so this area in general is called the Forum of Trahan. That being, once again, the uh, pillar or the column to Trahan, who was indeed a Roman emperor. And so here we have the reference to the wars. The Trahan's column narrates in pictures the two military campaigns in the years 101 to 102 and 105 to 106 AD, in which Emperor Trahan conquered Dacia, corresponding largely to the modern Romania. And then here, we have this incredible monument, which is dedicated to Victor Emmanuel, who is the first king of a unified Italy. This building is quite a bit younger than these other ruins. Construction began in 1885, and it was completed in 1925, so not even quite a century old. And there it is, the Colosseum. And I am in the Colosseum. This is definitely going to be interesting.
And so construction on the Colosseum began in 80 AD, 80 years after the birth of Christ. And so this did not actually exist when Jesus walked the earth. It was built in tandem by three different uh, Roman emperors, Vespasian, Titus, and Domitian, completed in 80 AD, and then further modifications by uh, Domitian between 81 and 89 AD. And it was primarily a amphitheater of entertainment, if you can call it that. As we all know, who have seen the movie Gladiator and various other movies, it was not always a pretty sight what occurred in this amphitheater here. The emperor would sit over there. It could hold up to about 85,000 people. And this is the Arch of Constantine, built in 315 AD. Up there is Palatine Hill, one of the seven hills of Rome. This is the Titus Arch, built in 82 AD by Emperor Domitian, Titus and Domitian. Here you can see Arco di Tito. 
as I mentioned, the uh, Colosseum was built by three different emperors called the Flavian Dynasty. And so Titus was the uh, emperor that was in power when the Colosseum was completed. And then he died and uh, his younger brother, Domitian, built this arch in his commemoration. And out here is the Roman Forum here on Palatine Hill. And so the Roman Forum here was the epicenter of Roman public life, really the center point of the Roman Empire, where there would have been markets, governmental buildings, gladiatorial matches, processions, speeches, etc. What an absolutely incredible scene here. Truly an embodiment of history. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of incredible Rome. See ya.